What's up guys, Dlibs here. Today we have another Rainbow Six Siege site setups video and we're going to be checking Chalet off the list. So let's go ahead and get into all the operators that you guys are going to be needing for basement. So we have Azami, Cade, Jaeger, Warden, and Malusi. Azami's going to be able to manipulate the objective. Cade's going to be anti-breach. Jaeger will be anti-gadget. Warden's going to be pretty much anti-smoke, anti-flash, anti-entry almost. And then Malusi also is anti-entry. So we're going to go ahead and start off with Azami. Her first Kiba barrier is going to get placed over the drone hole so that no Flores drones or Twitch drones can get through easily. And then our impact grenade is going to go on the wall here to make our rotate. Now as a zombie, we're pretty much going to be holding down blue, so our second Kiba barrier is going to go on this little piece of wood right here. I've shown this in past videos, it's a really, really good spot. Basically, we can see the attacker's legs or feet when they come down these stairs, but they can't see us at all. And then our third Kiba barrier, I'll normally place on this little white structure here. This is so that I can hold back blue, pretty much rotate back and forth without having to worry about anyone coming down main stairs. Uh, you know, I can hold breach in case they get it open. And I don't have to worry about someone coming down main and catching me off guard. And then I'll place my fourth Kiba barrier on the little table here. Again, pretty much so that anyone can hold back wine cellar and then not have to worry about getting picked off. And then I'll actually hold on to my last Kiba barrier. Just in case the attackers do get the wall open, I will have my, my barrier to throw and I'll be able to block off whatever breach they are able to open, which will you know delay them just a few seconds, which is sometimes all you need. Now we're going to be moving on to Cade. Now Cade's going to want to reinforce the main wall on Garage, and instead of placing his Electro Claw right onto the reinforcement, he's going to want to place it right upstairs under this barricade like so. Now this will actually still activate the Electro Claw onto the wall, however if the attackers throw any EMPs or anything like that, it will be unable to stop it. They'll have to actually enter into the building to destroy the Electro Claw, and if they don't know how to do this, or they don't know about the trick, then very unlikely they'll be able to figure it out. Now additionally, I'll make sure I get these two soft walls that face the main garage, and then I'll get these two side walls as well. Now moving on to Jaeger, he will be of course anti-gadget. I'll place my first ADS to the right of the garage just in case they throw any stuns, grenades, that'll take care of that. And I'll place my second one on main stairs, another common spot that attackers will push down in case they don't get garage open. And then my third one I'll put in the corner of wine cellar like so. And then I'll place my bulletproof cam on top of the wall like so. It's actually a really, really important cam because they can't really get it unless they use up their utility like an ash charge or a Zofia charge so you know this is a really really great cam to have and it'll probably stay around till the end game. Now we have Warden. Warden's pretty much going to be our main roamer so you want to make sure you reinforce this front wall that faces garage before you do anything else and then you're also going to want to go and grab the two hatches that sit on top of the objective. Now besides for that I'll pretty much just hold down this main floor. I like to stay around the blue stairs side just in case I need to get back to objective quickly. I can just rotate right on down those stairs without any troubles. Now moving on to Malusi, whose main job is pretty much just to be really, really annoying with her banshees. I'll place my first one on the trash can here, so that in case the attackers run in to try to plant, they will of course, you know, be really annoyed by the banshee when they are just getting constantly spammed. And then I'll place one to the right of the door in wine cellar as well. And then I'll put my last one right in the corner here between the bomb and the trash can. It's a little bit of extra help if someone runs in from breach, but also the main part of that is to get anyone who comes down main stairs. Now we're gonna move on to second floor. We are going to have Thorn, Pulse, Bandit, Thunderbird, and Tachanka. Thorn's gonna be anti-entry. Pulse is gonna be intel playing vertical from underneath. Bandit's going to be anti-breach, Thunderbird's going to be support with health, and then Tachanka, you just got to hear me out for that one. So Thorn's pretty much just going to be set up in piano for the round. You're going to want to place your deployable shield on top of the piano, and then you're going to be making sure that no attackers push through these doors, and then you can also make sure no attackers will push in from the side door that comes from balcony. This is just a really important spot to hold down, make sure that attackers don't get control over the side of objective. Now I'll place my first thorn on top of that balcony door and then I'll place my second one on the balcony window. This is just the most common spot that attackers will push from. And then I'll put my last thorn on piano door. So that'll pretty much do it for Thorn, but also please make sure you have the 1.5 equipped on Thorn. This gun is absolutely overpowered right now, so make sure you equip it, play with it before it gets nerfed. Now we're going to move on to Pulse. Now Pulse doesn't really have a whole lot to do with set up during the round. He can make this, uh, this rotate between objectives really quickly with his shotgun. Oh, and then of course, make sure you have shotgun equipped because it's going to be pretty important for this round. 
But yeah, you're pretty much going to be playing underneath objective. You're going to be intel. You can see where they are on balcony. And then you can make pre-placed holes in the ceiling like so. Uh, actually, I normally make one over here in the corner. So I can see when the attackers run in from the side door that leads from balcony. Normally a really common spot that attackers will push from. But yeah, besides for that, you're pretty much just holding it down here in kitchen and dining hall. And then if you need to, you can always rotate back up. Now Bandit's pretty much going to be anti-breach, so you want to make sure you reinforce these two walls here. And of course place your Bandit charges down, and that was actually something I forgot to mention to do as pulse, but I'll get to that in just a second. You're also going to want to reinforce this wall here to the right, place your Bandit charges down of course, and then as pulse you want to actually use your shotgun to make peeking holes onto the soft wall so you can see when they push up in hallway. Now we have Thunderbird, who's pretty much going to be main support, main health. First barbed wire goes on the outside of the door, your second one's going to go on the inside. We're really doubling down to make sure we hold down piano. And then you're going to want to place your Thunderbird right here. Remember, there will be the rotate hole right behind me that Pulse will make. And then your second and third Thunderbird Kona stations are going to go right here in piano. Uh, pretty much right behind the deployable shield where Thorn will be holding. This will just be a really good spot for defenders to rotate through. Really easy for them to get some health whenever they may need it. Now for Tachanka, like I said, I told you, you really had to hear me out. You want to put your deployable shield right here in front of the rotation hole. This is pretty much the spot you're going to be holding down for the rest of the round. So I'll make the rotate hole so I can show you guys the rotation that I'll be making as Tachanka. But pretty much, Tachanka is overpowered. Like, for the lack of a better word, <laughs> overpowered. He is so underrated in this game. He has 20 fire canisters that's like that's like 20 smoke canisters that's like 20 goyos you are just constantly cutting off any entry point for the attackers you're overwhelming them you're putting so much stress on the attackers and with a objective that's like this is really two entry points maybe three if they get breach open it is just so vital to have an, uh, an, a defender like this. So I'll pretty much rotate from that rotation hole where my deployable shield is. I, I'll throw some, some fire on breach. I'll throw some fire on this door here out to balcony. And then I'll move back over to piano, double doors. I'll help Thorn out wherever they may need it. Such a good operator when used correctly. So like I said, hear me out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and press the playlist that's on the screen now. There are site setups, map callouts, tips and tricks, anything you could imagine to get better at Rainbow Six Siege. If you guys have a specific map or video you guys want to see next, please let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. Besides for that, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.